totem poles were built by about 30 Native American tribes living along the Northwest Pacific coast of North America. These wooden towers carved with images of animals and symbols were monuments expressing a family status within their tribe. These people made a good living from fishing in the sea and in rivers teeming with salmon as well as from hunting in nearby forests. This allowed them time to develop a unique form of art, the totem pole. We're going to start out by writing your name on the back of your paper, because no name, no fame. Next, go ahead and fold your paper in half vertically. We also like to refer to this as hot dog style. Use your idea handouts to choose at least three crests to draw. You're going to make your drawing starting at the middle of your paper where your fold is. You're only going to draw half of the crest and you'll see why in just a few minutes. But it might help you to cover up half of the picture that you're looking at to draw your crest. You might also want to draw a line down the middle of the crest that you are looking at to draw. You do not have to copy the crest exactly, but it just might help you to figure out where the line of symmetry is. And the line of symmetry is the line that would be right down the middle of whatever it is that you're drawing. Now that you've finished your awesome drawing, it's time to trace with a black crayon. And just so you're not sitting here watching me trace with a black crayon, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Right now. Now go ahead and fold your paper closed, just like a book. Use a dull or even a broken pencil, like you see me using, to scribble on the back of your paper. Now as you're doing this, you're pressing down, um, but not so hard that you rip a hole in the paper. So be very, very careful. So now open it up and see the magic happen. You can see that the crest transferred onto the other half of the paper. So now just take a black crayon and go ahead and trace over those designs too so they match the other side, making it a symmetrical design. So it's exactly the same on both sides. Mm -hmm. 
If there's any blank space on your totem pole on each side, you can add some geometric shapes or designs just to make it more interesting. But remember, try to make it as symmetrical as possible. So you add one shape on one side, you need to add it on the other too so that it matches. Now for the best part, it's time to add some color using paint. When you're painting, it's a good idea to go from the largest areas of your artwork to the smallest. So for example, do the areas that you have a lot to fill in and say I'm using brown, use that brown in all the areas that you're gonna use brown and then change colors. So when it's time to change colors with your tempera paint, go ahead and dip it in the water and dab it on the sponge. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you dip and then you dab dab. Since painting takes a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up just a little so you can see the whole painting process pretty quickly, right now. So I know you're super excited to get started on this project, but before you can, you're going to get a sticky note. And this sticky note, I want you to fold in half. This is your test to see if you are ready for the totem pole. On the sticky note, I want you to draw a shape, but only half of the shape, and you must draw it starting on the fold. So if you're ready, you get a sticky note and show me your shapes.